Hi, I'm Marion Rice. It's a really dark and cold winter night here in Oregon. For the last 10 years or so, I've been working to promote, support, and protect breastfeeding and human milk feeding across Oregon and nationally. As a participant in the Culture of Health Leaders Program, my goal is to develop and implement an initiative to advance equity, diversity, and inclusion in human milk banking. I'm particularly interested in participating in this program to build my leadership skills, focusing on advancing the field of human milk banking to create more equitable and inclusive national framework, improving health outcomes for the most vulnerable babies, directly engaging and benefiting communities who have the highest need for donor human milk when mother's own milk is not available. The highest need populations for access to donor human milk are African American and Native American mothers and babies. These communities have faced challenges and barriers to breastfeeding as a result of historical trauma and structural racism and are more likely to have premature births that growing evidence indicates is linked to endemic racial discrimination. Since biological complexities often impair mothers of preterm babies, ability to fully meet their, their infant's nutritional needs, the use of donor human milk, milk donated by lactating women for infants other than their own, is central to infant medical care. My participation in the Culture of Health program seeks to build my leadership skills to convene deeper understanding, engagement, and investment from the predominantly white-led field of human milk banking to reposition themselves as allies rather than leaders in the fight for health equity. By using their power, voice, and leadership to build a bigger tent where people who come from communities experiencing inequity are engaged in creating narrative change, leading to community empowerment, taking a seat at the table, advancing equitable approaches to sourcing and distributing human milk to medically fragile babies. There's much work to do and I appreciate the consideration of the Robert Wood Johnson Culture of Health Leaders Program to advance this important opportunity. Thank you.